Okay, hello guys, this is Raj Shikhar Deshikani. Now I'm going to talk about uh, classes in SQL uh, language in Oracle database. Just see my screen. How I'm going to explain this uh, classes in Oracle language. Just see my screen. Uh, there are... Uh, just see... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, we have four classes in SQL language in Oracle database. Uh, we often use this four, uh, four uh, classes in uh, SQL language. Uh, so uh, for this, uh, here we have the first one is uh, where class. So it is going to be uh, filtering rows. It is going to be used to filtering rows uh, before grouping of the similar data of a particular column of a particular data. So uh, where class is used to filtering the rows before grouping the similar data of a particular table. So uh, next one is uh, order by class. Order by class is used to sorting the values. Sorting means arranging the values. So order by class is used to arranging the values either in ascending or descending orders. So uh, next one is group by. Group by class is used to uh, grouping the similar data in a particular column of a particular table. So it is used to uh, group the uh, similar data. Uh, how many number of similar data uh, the table is having the similar data. So in that purpose, uh, this group, group by class is going to uh, grouping that similar data of a particular table. So here we have the have a class. So it is also uh, almost same to the where class. Uh, so only thing is, to, uh, thing is uh, the filtering rows. Uh, it is going to be filtering rows as like a uh, where, uh, where class it is also going to be filtering the rows but after grouping the similar data in a particular table so uh, the where class is going to be filter the uh, rows before grouping the similar data of a particular table and uh, when it comes to having class it is uh, going to filtering the rows after grouping the similar data of a particular table if you see the examples so uh, if you see the one by one uh, classes in the sql uh, language in Oracle database, uh, you can easily understand how we are going to use these uh, classes of an uh, Oracle database. Uh, you can easily understand by seeing one by one definition and the syntaxes. First, uh, we need to see the definition of the where class in the SQL language. Uh, so, this is the where class. Uh, it is used to uh, filtering the rows. That means uh, bring the rows or fetching the rows or uh, retrieving the rows in one by one manner. Uh, before grouping of a uh, similar data in a particular table. So this is the definition for the where class. So here we have the syntax for the where class. Uh, we are using uh, syntax for where class is uh, select star from, select star from star means all columns of a particular table. Here particular table means uh, table, here particular table name we should mention here. And after that we need to mention the where class uh, name and in that where class uh, we need to mention the require, required filtering condition so whatever uh, do you want to uh, get the result on based on uh, required condition we need to mention this uh, required condition here so, so this is the uh, syntax for the uh, where class and uh, we have the note under the uh, where class so what is the note means uh, this where class can be used in only select update and delete commands of the SQL language so this is the note for the where class uh, we need to use a uh, where class can uh, where class in only select comma update comma delete commands once you see the examples uh, examples of uh, how we are using uh, this where class in select and update and delete commands you can easily understand this where class concept in SQL uh, SQL language <coughs> sorry SQL language just see the examples for the where class condition uh, in SQL so for that purpose uh, if you want to use this where class condition in select uh, command so here we have a question to understand uh, the concept of a where class in uh, select command uh, so here we have the question is write a query write a query to fetch or retrieve that means to get the de uh, to get the employee details from EMP table whose EMP number is seven, uh, double seven double eight. We need to fetch the record from the EMP table uh, whose EMP number is double seven double eight. For understanding of uh, where class in select query, uh, here we have the question. So we need to uh, understand this question briefly. Briefly, uh, write a query to fetch the records. Write a query to fetch the records. Uh, records to get the employees details from EMP table whose employee number is double seven double eight. 
so I, I will show you this uh, answer answer for this question practically by using the SQL uh, SQL uh, to SQL plus tool uh, in Oracle database I'm going to connect to the Oracle database SQL plus tool through the work SQL mm -hmm. test uh, plus tool I, I got connected to the Oracle database I just want to clear the screen to understanding easily uh, so uh, for that purpose uh, here we have a, a table in Oracle database uh, the table name is EMP I want to see the details uh, how many records and how many columns are there in EMP table I want to see for that purpose I need to uh, use this query is select select star from EMP this is the query to fetch the records uh, how many number of records uh, EMP table is having and how many number of columns are having in the EVM table we need to see uh, for uh, if you want to see that the details of EM table we need to use this query and uh, I'm, I'm running this query uh, to display the details of the employee details of a, a employee table so I will get the output is like so here uh, here this is the EMP table he is having 8 columns and 14 rows 8 columns and 14 rows so uh, we need to find uh, we need to use the where class uh, where class in select query uh, to find uh, to find the particular employees record that means he is asking uh, retrieve the details of uh, employee whose employee number is double seven double eight uh, from the EMP table so for that purpose our question is uh, if you see once again the question is the question is write a query write a query to get the employee details from EMP table uh, whose employee number is that means whose uh, EMP number is double seven double seven double seven double eight so we need to find uh, we need to fetch that record only from the EMP table by using SQL language uh, in Oracle so uh, we need to find the double seven double eight uh, EMP number uh, record of the EMP table by using the select query we need to use where class condition in that select query to get uh, set double seven double eight number uh, of the record of the record from the EMP table for that purpose uh, we need to use the query is like select star means all columns of a uh, particular table this particular table means EMP table we have so uh, select star from EMP and I'm giving the where condition in the select query so what is the where condition what is our required uh, condition is uh, we need to uh, get the details of uh, employee whose employee number is the double seven double eight double seven double eight just see what is the result will be going to be happened in the resultant table so uh, we got the uh, only one row we got the table having only one row the question is like that now uh, he is asking uh, um, get the details he is asking get the details <coughs> get the details of employee whose employee number is double seven double eight from the EMB table the question is like that that is why we got the uh, resultant uh, that is why we got the resultant uh, table having only one row that row of employee number is double seven double eight this is the uh, this is the way to use where class in select query uh, then uh, how I can use this where class in update query uh, just see the question for the uh, uses of uh, where class in update query means uh, if you go to the next slide of the notepad plus plus uh, we got the uh, we have the uh, question here to understand how we are going to use this weight class in update uh, update command for this uh, we have the question is write a query write a query to update update in the sense in english meaning of update in the sense uh, write a query means write a query to update means to edit to change so uh, here he is asking write a query to edit student name uh, student name with Sandhya, uh, student name with new name Sandhya in a student table whose CID is 30. So he, he is asking like uh, write a query to edit student name with new name Sandhya in a student table whose CID is 30. Though <coughs> whoever, whoever is having a CID value is 30 then that uh, then that name should be changed with a new name of Sandhya he is asking the question is like that so for this purpose um, uh, we need to answer the uh, we need to answer the um, answer for this question by using a where class condition in update command uh, just see my screen now I am going to give the answer for this question so here we have uh, we have to clear the screen once because uh, easily understanding purpose I need to clear the screen I got uh, clear the screen so uh, I have created one table I have created student table for you guys to understand how we are going to use where class condition in 
update command that's purpose i have created a table student for you guys to understand so uh, i want to see the uh, uh, i have created student table now i want to see the details of student for that purpose i am using the uh, query is select star from star means all columns of and all columns of a particular table that means here particular table means student yes here we have the uh, student table having three columns and three rows uh, so we need to find uh, we need to change the uh, we need to change uh, sorry we need to change uh, our question is like sorry in our question what is happening means you know, already having sandhya now so i need to change here our question is um, here our question is write a query to update student name with their new name some ramya in a student table whose cid is 30 uh, whoever the uh, whoever the student is having cid is 30 then you need to uh, change that uh, name name with a uh, new name of ramya so we need to change that old name with uh, new name new name of ramya to the old name so the question is like that only here we have the table of student details uh, are got in the uh, oracle database is here having three columns and three rows the 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 old old records of the student are uh, uh, sid is 1021 is sai sid 1022 is kiran sid uh, 1023 is sanja and uh, those three uh, students are having the cid value sir 10 20 30 so here we should do uh, we should do one thing we need to uh, our question is we need to change those who are having the cid values that we need to change that name with the new way, new name of ramya so we need to uh, we need to change this table by uh, replacing uh, a new name of uh, ramya instead of uh, old name sandhya so for this uh, for this uh, question i am going to give the answer in the in terms of query is select <coughs> sorry uh, now we are dealing with the update command now how we are uh, using this uh, where class condition is update command that is why we facing this question now so i am going to use this uh, update command query is uh, update uh, we are going to uh, edit update means edit update oh, which one is uh, which one we are going to update which table we are going to update here student table student table and uh, for updating purpose by arranging new name to the old name and i am giving the set operator <coughs> set the name in the sense uh, what is the name of the column s name s name i am going to give the s name column and uh, i am <coughs> mentioning new name uh, instead of sandhya so that is why i am uh, i am changing sandhya name to the ramya name so actually this ramya name is having uh, having the uh, characters na uh, basically this oracle um, oracle gives uh, oracle uh, oracle arranges single quotes between the characters oracle allows the all the characters in single quotes and that's why i am giving single quotes before going to add the new name ramya uh, ramya i am giving on this ramya name in between the single quotes uh, so update student set s name is called ramya where what what he is asking the condition is whose cid value is 30 whose cid value is 30 just see the screen who cid value is 30 so i i, I have i'm changing the uh, i'm changing the cid value 38th student name sanja is uh, replacing with the new name of ramya so let us see the result what is going to be happen what is happening in the result in the table just see one row is updated so if you want to change if you want to see the changed student table details for that purpose we are going to use the query in select star from again i am seeing the results uh, i again i want to see the records in student table and just now i have changed the records of uh, student table that is why i am reopening the uh, details of student table again so yeah we got the ramya instead of uh, sandhya so we got updated the student table uh, with a new name of tanya whose cid value is 30 we got changed the student table by using the update command in that update command we have used the where class so this is the uh, example to use where class in uh, update command so next one uh, we need to use this where class in uh, delete command so for that purpose we have also another question here uh, just see uh, just see the question uh, write a query write a query to delete the course details to delete the course details from course table 
so those course fee is what 4500 so here question meaning is uh, delete the record from a uh, course table uh, those course fee is 4500 who is having the 4500 as a course fee then you should delete that record from the course table the question meaning is like that so for for answering this question uh, so i will i will going to write the query is just see my uh, screen in the database so for that purpose i need to clear the screen to easily understand the concept so I want to um, face the records of the course table I have just created for you guys to understand how we are going to uh, use this where class uh, condition in the uh, delete command for that purpose I have just created the course table just see how, how many records is uh, there in course table for uh, to see uh, the table of course table uh, we have we have the command is here we have the query is select star from select star from course so select star from course so i did a mistake here select spelling is a mistake so i did a spelling mistake here so i need to open i need to open uh, the details of course table i have just created this course table for you guys to understand how this where class is used used in delete command so for that purpose i need to open the course table course table yeah uh, this is having a this is having a two rows uh, two rows two rows and two columns so i need to uh, i need to delete uh, i need to delete uh, one record i need to delete one record he is asking um, the question is asking the question is write a query write a query uh, to uh, write a query write a query uh, to what is the question means or uh, write a query to delete the course details from course table those uh, course fee is 2500 so in the questioner is asking uh, those uh, those which course is having uh, 2500 as a course fee then that record you should delete from the course table he is asking like that oh, so by answering for that question i am giving the uh, answer in terms of oracle language he just see my screen <coughs> is asking yeah uh, i need to connect to the database he is asking uh, please delete uh, the record who is having 2500 has the c fee uh, then that the course details you need to uh, delete from the course table uh, course table he is asking like that so oh, i need to delete the the 2500 has a c fees of this row i need to delete this entire row by using the query is um, so by, by understanding the uh, delete command um, by understanding the where class usage in delete command I need to use this question I need to give the answer to this question is by using the uh, query is delete from which table we need to delete the 25th fee, fee uh, 2500 fee record uh, row oh, we need to delete from which table course table the course table is <coughs> delete from course table where I am giving the men uh, mentioning the where condition where C fee that means course fee is he is asking 2500 the record you need to delete from the course table so that's why I am mentioning C fee is equal to 2500 so let us see the result let us see uh, delete uh, here also I am uh, I did a mistake in a spelling mistake in a delete word so so again I want to just clear the screen sorry for the inconvenience so select for select from star from course select star from course so, uh, we need to delete the 25 uh, record having the course fee of 2500 the record we need to delete this uh, this uh, 2500 the row entire row for this purpose i need to use a uh, delete uh, query delete from which table course table course table mm, I'm, I'm mentioning where condition uh, he is asking uh, who is getting uh, who is uh, who is having uh, the 2500 as its course fee. We need to delete that entire row. That means I am giving a uh, course fee is equal to 2500. So now I am deleting uh, one row from this course table. What will be happening in the result? Uh, you can see. Yeah, uh, I have deleted one row from the course table. Let us see. Uh, let us see. Um, let us see now uh, how many records are there in course table. Means we need to see again. Uh, select. We need to open the uh, course table details. Course table details. 
Yeah, here is uh, your your post table is having only one row because we we has we 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 are we have deleted one row just now. So that is why it is having only one row, uh, having a C fees of six thousand. Uh, C fees of six thousand. Uh, this is the uh, this is the concept uh, where 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 class is used in uh, delete and update and uh, uh, select command. So this is the concept of where class in Oracle database. Next, we have to see the next concept of uh, classes in Oracle SQL language. So, for that purpose, we need to go for the next uh, class. Next class is uh, order by class. It is used to sort the value. Sort means arrange. So, the order by class is used to sort the values. That means the rows. That means it is going to be uh, arrange the rows based on the columns. Based on the columns. So this is the purpose of order by class. It can be used in select command only. So the, this is the this is the main note of the uh, order class. So it can be used in select command only. The syntax for the uh, order by class is select star from star means all columns of a particular table uh, from table name order by. We need to mention the uh, class name. We need to mention the order by class name and. Uh, and uh, we need to mention the column name and then on which column you are going to be assigned this order order by class then you need to mention that column name here so in in which order do you want to arrange the uh, that particular column values you need to mention if you uh, if you are uh, if you want to uh, arrange that uh, that particular column values in ascending order you need to mention asc uh, if you want to uh, arrange that uh, that uh, particular columns values in descending order uh, then you should mention desc so this is the syntax for the order by class in SQL language in Oracle uh, Oracle database. Here we have the uh, note under the order by classes. If you don't mention uh, ASC or DSC words, uh, if you don't mention a ASC or DSC word in in the particular query, then uh, then order by class sorting the values in descending order only by default. So if you didn't mention, if you don't mention, if you don't mention uh, whether uh, whether you are going to be arrange uh, particular column values in ascending order, descending order, uh, in that case, uh, this order by class uh, by defaultly uh, it will arrange the uh, values of a particular column in ascending order only. I will show you the practical example for this order by class. Just see my screen how I am going to uh, explaining this order by class by using the suitable examples. So uh, here uh, we have to uh, we have a question to understand how we are going to uh, arrange the particular column values uh, either in descending or uh, ascending order by using this question is uh, if you uh, if you understand this uh, order by class we need to uh, read this question briefly to understand uh, how he is asking what uh, what he need actually uh, to know that uh, you have to read this question once write a query. Write a query to sort the uh, so, uh, write a query to uh, sort means uh, write a query to arrange the uh, salary column values in a EMP table. Salary column values in a EMP table in descending order using order by class. He is asking, please arrange the uh, salary column values in descending order from a EMP table. The question is like that. So for this question, uh, we are going to give the answer in the terms of query is select star from. He is asking from EMP table now. Uh, so select star means all columns from a uh, given table. Given table, who, which table he is asking? EMP table. So select star from EMP. And, and we are using order by class and which column salary column we need to arrange the values of salary column that's why using uh, order by class and salary column and in which manner do you want uh, in which manner he is asking to arrange the values descending order so that is why this is the syntax for the evo question i am going to show you the practical answer by using this uh, uh, example syntax example answer query uh, to understand easily for this uh, understanding purpose i will going to show you the practical answer for this question so for this purpose i am going to clear the screen so here we have uh, the table in oracle database the table name is emp so i want to show, i want to see how many records are there in emp table I, uh, and how many columns are there in emp table the total details of emp table i need to uh, i need to open now so for that purpose uh, select I am using the query is select star from EMP. Select star from EMP. Yeah, I got the table EMP in Oracle database. 
it is having eight columns and fourteen rows. It is having eight columns and fourteen rows. <coughs> Uh, so uh, our question is uh, our question is in order by class our example question is so write a query to sort write a query to arrange the salary with column values in uh, in a emp table in descending order using order by class so we need to arrange the salary column values of a emp table our emp table in descending order so we need to arrange this salary column of emp table values in descending order now we are having this uh, salary column values in random manner random manner that means uh, there is no order for this uh, there is no order for this column so we need to arrange this salary column of an emp table by using order by class in descending order means uh, so for that purpose uh, we have a query to answer this question is select star means all columns of a, a particular table that particular table means uh, emp here uh, so i am i am giving the uh, i am giving the um, order by class to arrange to arranging in a particular manner so i am giving order i am giving order order by class on which column i am going to order the salary column that is why uh, i am going to uh, use this order by class on salary column of a emp table uh, so uh, in which manner do we want to arrange this salary column I want to arrange for descending order because the questioner is asked to arrange the salary column values in, values in descending order. He asked to like that. That's why I'm using salary column descending order. For descending order purpose, I need to mention the word DESC. So uh, what will be happens in the output? Just see the screen. I'm going to retrieve the output for this uh, descending order of the uh, salary column of the EMP table. So yeah, I got I got the result having having the salary column in descending order. So just see the salary column of EMP table. Now uh, from this EMP table, I, I have arranged this salary column. I have arranged this salary column in descending order. As we see in the below table result. So uh, five thousand is the highest salary, and then that five thousand after that five thousand, three thousand we have the second highest salary. Like that, two thousand nine seven five is the third highest salary. Like that, we have arranged uh, this salary column values in descending order by using by using uh, by using uh, this DESC uh, word uh, DES descending order word uh, by using order by class uh, on salary column of a EMP table. <coughs> So, like this, if you want to, uh, if you want to arrange, if you want to arrange, uh, if you want to arrange these column where the salary columns of a employee table, employee table, uh, this salary columns of a employee table in ascending order. So, similarly, we have the question here he is uh, select question is select same same uh, as like previous question we need to arrange this uh, this salary column values in ascending order uh, so for that <coughs> we need to mention the uh, query is uh, select star from emp our particular table is emp and uh, we are going to order ordered by on which column uh, we are going to use this order by class in which column salary column uh, we need to arrange in which manner ascending order ascending order so Again, uh, again, we can also find, uh, we can also arrange these salary columns in ascending orders by using this query. Just see the result. So, yeah, we got uh, this salary column values in ascending order. 800 is the least highest salary among the, all the employees, and 950 is the second least highest salary among this all the employees. Like this, 5000 is the uh, highest salary of among all these employees, and then this 5000 is arranged in the last in the bottom bottom of the table. So this is the query to find out uh, ascending order, uh, query to uh, arrange the uh, salary column values in ascending order from EMB table. If you didn't mention, if you didn't mention, if you didn't mention DESC here DESC we mentioned na uh, here DESC and uh, ASC. We mentioned in the case uh, the note is uh, note under the order by class is in the case if you don't mention a asc and desc in the query then what will be happens you know uh, i will show you the result if you didn't use uh, if you don't use uh, des and asc in order by class on a particular table then what will be happens in the result just see my screen select star from particular table means here we have the table is emp and uh, order by 
order by class uh, we are applying on salary column and i don't want to mention any uh, keywords among uh, desc and asc so what will be happens in the resultant table you know just see the screen so yeah i got the uh, table resultant table having this ascending order only if you don't mention asc or desc by default this order by class arrange this column values and uh, column values in ascending order only this is the concept of order by class in uh, oracle database so then we go for the next topic is then we go for the next topic is then we go for the next topic oh, that means that next topic is group by class this is the uh, group by class it is used to grouping the similar data in a particular column based on the particular columns of a particular table so group by class is going to uh, match going to uh, sort going to ma uh, going to uh, grouping the same data those uh, those uh, whatever the values are having uh, whatever the departments whatever the uh, jobs having the similar data so uh, this group by uh, class is uh, going to group in that similar data of a particular column of a particular table so here we have the note under the group by column when we are dealing with that means when we are using with this uh, group by class then we must use a uh, then we must use a aggregate functions in, in the query that means aggregate functions means max function we have the uh, aggregate functions are uh, max function, min function, average function, sum function and count star function. So we need to use these aggregate functions along with this group by class in the query. So when we are going to deal with this uh, group by class, we need to use these aggregate functions in the query. So syntax for this group by class is, uh, just see the see in the bottom, so select, select whatever the car, column values you need to uh, find out, we need to fetch from the table, required table, we need to mention that many column names here select column name 1 comma column name 2 dash 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 and we need to mention we have to mention the aggregate function uh, because this is the group by class function so in group by class function we need to we have to uh, we have to mention the group, uh, aggregate function here after that uh, where do you want to fetch the records uh, that particular table name here you, you need to mention here and after the table name you need to mention the group by class effect uh, group by class effect uh, um, that group by class name you should mention here and uh, on which columns you are going to use this group by class you need to mention that column name so this is the syntax for the group by class in Oracle database so just see uh, how we can understand this group by class by using the suitable examples in uh, in our uh, notepad and just read this uh, two questions so this is the first question to understand this group by class in SQL language in Oracle database. Here we have the question is write a query, write a query to find out find out number of employees, number of employees working in each job, each job from EMP table. He is asking how many number of employees are working in each job category. In each job category, you need to uh, we need to answer for this. So he is asking uh, to display find out means uh, to display on the screen means uh, to display the uh, to display on the screen number of employees working in each jobs category in each jobs category from uh, EMP table in each job category. Uh, here I am mentioning category. Category. So the question he is asking, question he is asking, write a query to find out number of employees working in each job category from EMP table. So in that cases, <coughs> we need to uh, we need to uh, answer for this question by using the employee table in our database. Employee table in our database. Uh, just see how we are going to answer for that question. to fetch the records of employee table again to understand this concept to understand this concept so here we have the EMP table having 8 columns and 14 rows the question is uh, please find out uh, he is asking like that please find out uh, number of employees who are working in each job category uh, suppose uh, we need to find according to the question we need to find how many number of employees are working under the clerk job so we need to find how many number of employees are working under the salesman job and we need to find out how many number of uh, employees are working under the manager job 
and we need to find out how many number of employees are working under the analyst job and uh, similarly uh, we need to find out how many number of employees are working under the uh, president job the question is like the, the meaning of question is like that only so just see the question just, uh, keep, just see the question once uh, what write a query to find out that means write a query to display the number of employees working in each job category means uh, we need to find out how many number of employees are working under the uh, clerk job how many number of uh, employees are working under the salesman job how many number of uh, employees are working under the uh, manager job how many number of working uh, employees working under the analyst job similarly how many number of uh, uh, employees are working under the analyst job that 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 is that the that, that details are uh, we need to find out by using the query is according to uh, our basic table in uh, um, oracle database according to emp table uh, here we have emp table now in the database uh, from this database uh, we need to find out the answer for the given question is we need to find out how many number of employees are in each job category means i'm using the query is select select <coughs> job here i am fetching job category it means um, instead of star i am giving job column name because we need to find out number of employees in a particular job number of employees in each job that's why i am giving select space job comma to find out number of uh, rows in a particular uh, column means we are going to use aggregate function is count count of star count of star means it will going to fetch the number of rows in a particular column particular column means here job is a particular column so that's why i'm using the aggregate function count of star count of star going to retrieve the number of rows of a uh, job columns data so why i am using job column data the question is like uh, please find out the number of employees in each job wise category each job wise category that is the question that's why i am using select job comma count of star from particular table means here uh, particular table means here uh, employee table is the emp table is a particular table and uh, i am going to uh, use um, this uh, a group by class group by class group by class on which column job column so uh, so how uh, so similar data uh, whatever the clerk job is having the similar data whatever the salesman job jobbers are uh, having the similar data whatever the uh, how many number of uh, employees are having in the manager uh, job how many number of uh, employees are there in the analyst job how many number of employees there in uh, president job we need to group we need to group the similar data of each each job wise we need to uh, group that similar data for each job by so that is why i am using here group by uh, class group by class and job column only and uh, i'm 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 going to uh, run this query to find out how many number of employees are working under the clerk job and how many number of uh, employees are working under the salesman job and how many number of uh, employees are uh, working under the manager job like this how many number of uh, employees are working under the analyst job and the president job i need to find out by using this query uh, just see the result what will be happening in the resultant uh, table yes we got the answer for the uh, question whatever he asked the uh, question we we, got, we we have given the answer is there are four members are working under the clerk job here there are four four members are uh, four employees are working under the salesman job and there are one there is only one employee is under working under the president job and only there are three employees are working under the manager job here last there is uh, only two employees are there are only two employees are working under the analyst job this is the answer for the uh, question whatever the whatever he asked for the uh, group by class question example question we have been uh, we have satisfied that question with a suitable answer so then we go for the next question is uh, if you see the next question if you see the next question write a query uh, write a query to cal uh, calculate the each department number wise total sum total salary from employees table so again he asking write a query to calculate calculate each department's number wise total sum total salary sum total salary from emp table so for uh, for uh, for answering this question uh, so again i'm i need to connect uh, again i'm going to the uh, database to show you the answer for this particular question for that purpose i need to clear my screen first 
So uh, here we have the employee table is uh, is asking based on employee table only. That is why I'm um, often uh, retrieving employee table details only here. So here we have the employee table having eight columns and fourteen rows. The question is uh, what uh, what he is asking. You know. So he is asking, please, uh, please calculate the total. Uh, please calculate the sum of salary of total salary, sum of salary of a uh, particular uh, department number twenty eighth number. You should find out. He is asking like that, and uh, you need to find uh, sum of salaries of a uh, particular uh, department number ten. You need to find that uh, that uh, sum of salaries he is asking. So and uh, you know he is asking like uh, you need to find sum of salaries of a department number thirty. So ten, twenty, thirtieth in among this ten, twenty, thirtieth department number he is asking. Please find out the sum of salaries of a each department numbers. So we need to find out sum of salaries of a. Uh, 10th department number and 28th department number and 38th department number so we need to find out uh, as for the each department number wise total salaries of the employees so for that purpose we need to write the query is select star uh, we need to <coughs> fetch from fetch from which column we need to group uh, we need to group the similar data uh, dep according to the dep number column so that i am i am mentioning dep number here and comma to find Find out the sum of salaries of a DEP number. What, what type of uh, aggregate function we are going to use here means sum of salary. This is the aggregate function we are going to use uh, uh, to find out the sum of salaries in each departments because we are here take we have taken department number now. Uh, so that is why this sum of salary function is going to calculate the sum of salaries of each department number wise uh, from the EMP table. So uh, from Particular table name is EMP. So I am here using a group by class effect on which which column we need to effect uh, we need uh, we need to use this group by column on which which column DEPT number because he is asking uh, please find out sum of salaries of each department number. That's why I am use I am going to use this group by column group by class effect on uh, DEPT number only. So just see the uh, result. What is going to be happens in the what is going to be happens in the resultant resultant uh, output just see yeah i got the result i got the result so the what what he is asking uh, please find out how many uh, please find out number of salaries of employees um, please find out sum of salaries uh, sum of salaries under the 38th department we got it now and he is asking uh, please find out the sum of salaries under the 28th department and we got it now 10875 and he is asking uh, please find out uh, sum of salaries of 10th 10th department so we got it the uh, 10th department sum of salary here is 8750 so this is the way to understand uh, the group like class concept in uh, oracle database so this is uh, this is uh, looking very it seems to be a little complicated topic if you understand briefly if you uh, if you observe profound information of the this concept you can easily understand Other, otherwise you may go into confusion because it is very typical uh, typical uh, concept in oracle if you understand easily it is very easy topic in uh, sql language otherwise it is the it is um, uh, it is very complicated to understand and uh, uh, you may go into uh, you may go, you may go into uh, confusion often so this is uh, the concept of a group by class in uh, oracle database then we have uh, the last one is having class then we have the last one is having class just see my screen having class this is the uh, fourth one of the sql classes so it is used to filtering the rows it is almost the same to the where class condition where class in uh, sql language only difference is it is filtering the uh, rows after grouping the similar data so what did happen in the where class you know uh, we are going to use this where classes where class 
uh, uh, use it to uh, filter in the rows one by one manner before grouping the data before grouping the data of a particular table here uh, when it comes to when it comes to uh, having class when it comes to having class it is used to filter in the rows as for the where class uh, as similar to the where class but after grouping the similar data in where class uh, before grouping the data uh, when uh, we should uh, filter the rows when it comes to having class it is used to filtering rows after grouping the similar data after grouping the similar this is the difference between where class and uh, where class and having class in oracle uh, database so here we have the note under the having class uh, having class can be used along with the group by class why we are using the group by class along with the having class because the the name itself the having class definition itself it is used to filtering the rows after grouping the data so after grouping the similar data means we, uh, if you want to group uh, the if you want to group the similar data we need to use the group by class now that is why uh, if you want to use this uh, having class um, if you want to uh, in you can use the having class uh, can be used along with the group by class it is mandatory to use group by class uh, when you are going to uh, using this having class we need to uh, use this group by class this is the mandatory thing in this note so <coughs> syntax syntax for this uh, having class is select whatever the columns you need to retrieve from the table that that many column names you need to mention here column name one comma column name two as uh, this syntax is almost same to the group by class in the sql language of oracle database as for the group by class syntax uh, this syntax is select star select column name one comma column name two oh, and so on and uh, uh, and mentioning aggregate function as like as like in uh, group by class here also we are mentioning uh, aggregate function out of that uh, we need to mention the uh, table name and we are um, we are giving the group by class because um, this uh, having class uh, uh, can be used after only grouping the data that is why we are e using group by class here so so on which columns you need to uh, use this group by class that many column names you need to mention here finally we need to mention the having class filter condition in that having class we need to give the filter condition is like whatever the uh, required condition do you want to fetch from the particular table that uh, required condition you need to mention here and uh, this is the syntax for the uh, having class uh, if you see the suitable example for this having class you may understand uh, easily uh, how we are going to use this having classes in oracle database just see the examples uh, for that purpose i i have here we have the two questions uh, read the first question is <coughs> write a query write a query to display number of employees of each job so as we see uh, uh, in brief, um, previous uh, query uh, we got find number of employees in each job so in uh, in uh, as we see in the previous query we got uh, find uh, we got found the uh, number of employees in each job and here also he mentioned that in each in which job he is having more than 3 employees he is also asking in which job he is having more than 3 employees so for this question again we see the answer practical answer for this question we need to connect to the database we need to connect to the database so for that purpose i need to clear the screen so again i want to fetch the records from the i want to show the table emp so here we have eight columns and 14 rows so <coughs> he is asking uh, please find out the number of employees uh, are working in each job wise and in which job is in which job is uh, in which job is having uh, more than three uh, more than three employees the question is like that only please find out the number of employees are working uh, each each job wise and in which job uh, in which job having uh, more than four employees more than three employees is asking the question is like that only so uh, so if you want to find out the number of employees from each job wise uh, here we have the query as for the previous query i, I will going to uh, rewrite the previous query here 
select job comma but to find out the number of employees under the job column means I am using aggregate function count of star and then uh, from my particular table means here a EMP table uh, and I am using group by effect by class effect on which column job column so uh, this is the result for a number of employees uh, are working under the clerk are 4 and number of employees are working under the uh, salesman is uh, uh, 4 and a number of employees under the president's job is 1 and number of employees under the manager's job is 3 and the number of employees under the uh, analyst job is 2. So here the second statement of the question is we need to find in which we need to find we need to find in which job is having more than 3 employees. We need to find uh, find out the uh, job uh, job column job designation name uh, those who are having more than three employees. This is the logical question. Uh, so uh, please understand very clearly uh, in which job is having more than three employees. Uh, that uh, that job name. So we should fetch out now. We should fetch out now from the EMB table. So the the answer for that question is answer for the question is as uh, uh, we, we should answer for the question uh, by, by writing this query is job comma uh, we need to find out uh, number of employees are working under the job column from a particular table means EMP table and I am going to use the group by effect class on job column and I need to find in in uh, in in which job uh, there are uh, more than more than three employees. In in which job there are more than three employees? The questioner asked the question is like that only. So that's why I'm giving having condition here. After grouping class uh, after grouping the uh, here uh, here uh, group by job means uh, the query from beginning to uh, beginning to. Uh, Group by group by class. Uh, this is the um, this is the um, grouping of similar data. After that only we need to add the having class to uh, having class to uh, having class to required answer. So he is asking the condition is who is the um, who is the job job designation who is the name of the job designation who which is having more than three employees more than three employees. So that's why I'm giving uh, count of star. The number, count of star represents the number of employees are working on uh, number of um, number of rows on a particular column. That's why I'm using the count of star here, and uh, I'm greater than three. I'm mentioning greater than three because the question is asking in which job in which job the number of employees are greater than. Uh, three employees. Number of employees are greater than three, three employees. The questioner asked the question is please find out the uh, number of employees are working in. Uh, please uh, find out the number of employees uh, working in each uh, job and in which in which which job is having more than three employees. The question is like this. That's why I'm giving the condition in having classes count of star is greater than three. Uh, just see the answer what is going to be happen sorry uh, I mistaken um, I want to uh, add the semicolon instead of uh, colon so <coughs> so select again I am writing the query again I am writing the query is job count of star from particular table means EMP group by job and having class and I am giving the required condition to find out number of employees in which job is greater than 3 employees so that is why I am giving the condition is 3 so just find out yeah there are uh, there are uh, two types of jobs here one is clerk second one is for uh, salesman these two jobs are having uh, four uh, four uh, having the number of employees is four uh, and then which are greater than three which are greater than three the question is like that only the question is like that only that is why i got the answer here so the question is uh, in which job is having more than three employees in which type of job is having 
uh, three employees. That uh, that type of uh, employees uh, we face it now. Uh, we face it now. So just see the result. Only a uh, clerk job and salesman job are having the four employees. Four means that are, uh, four is uh, greater than three employees. So this is the answer for the question. And if you see the second question. See the second question to understand the having class in a SQL developer in Oracle database. Uh, you just see the another question also. So this is the second question uh, in a having class. So just read this question. Write a query to find out sum of salaries of each department members. Just uh, please clearly understand this question. Write a uh, write a query to find out sum of salaries of a each departments each department members from EMP table. So um, from the beginning to uh, here, I need to find the answer uh, first. So for that, uh, I need to connect to the database. So I need to fetch the records of employee table for answering this question. So there are eight columns and 14 rows. Uh, here, what is our question means? Here, here our question is, your know, question is uh, write a query to find out sum of salaries of each department members. So uh, we need to find uh, we need to find sum of salaries of a uh, we need to find sum of salaries of a uh, department number twenty and we need to find the sum of salaries of uh, employees of a department number thirty. Uh, we need to find the sum of salaries of employees of a department number ten. So for that, uh, we, we have already seen the uh, previous uh, example in uh, order of a group by class. Uh, so again, I will show you the uh, uh, query uh, to find out the sum of salaries of a employees of a each department members. So for that I am writing the previous query as we seen in the uh, group by class. So <coughs> DEPT number, we are going to find out the sum of salaries of each DEPT number now. That's why we, I am taking DEPT number here. So I am going to find out sum of salaries of each DEPT number. That's why I am using a grade function sum of salary here. And from particular table means that is the EMP table and uh, I am using uh, group by class here on which co which column DEPT number column DEPT number column so this is the way to find that uh, the sum of salaries of uh, each DEPT number we are going we are going to fetch now so see the result what will be happens in the resultant table so yeah we we got find the uh, sum of salaries of a DEPT number 30 is 9400 and we got found the uh, sum of salaries of a DEPT number 20 is 10875 and uh, we fetched the records we fetched the sum of salary of the uh, 10th DEPT number is 8750 this is the uh, this is the query uh, this is the query to sum of uh, salaries of uh, each department's numbers wise uh, uh, result so we need to find the uh, second we need to satisfy the second statement of the question just we, once we see the once again see the question what he, he has asked as means so uh, we found uh, we found sum of salaries of each department number wise we found sum of salaries of each department number wise and uh, again he, he mentioned the condition is in which in which department number in which big department number he is having sum of salaries are less than 9000 so he is asking the second statement is in which department number he is having sum of salaries are less than 9000 so for, uh, for to find uh, sum of, uh, to find the particular department number uh, which is having uh, less than uh, which is having the sum of salaries less than 9000 uh, so for that purpose so for answering for that question uh, we have the query is so select select dpt number we are going to uh, find out the sum of salaries of the dpt column now that's why i'm taking dpt number and i'm using aggregate function sum of salary on dpt column DPT number column from a particular table means here the EMP table is a particular table. I am using group by column, group by class on a DPT number column. <coughs> and I mentioned the condition 
why i am mentioning the having condition here means after grouping only we need to mention the having condition why why it is need uh, why why we are using having condition means uh, here he is asking in the question uh, in in which, in which department member is having some of salaries are less than 9000 that is why i am using in the query having class i am using in the query so just see who is uh, in which department number is having uh, some of salary sir um, less than 9000 that means uh, how, how we can find out the sum of salaries by using aggregate function sum of salary function so so he is asking uh, sum of salaries are less than 9000 less than 9000 you need to find sum of salaries are less than less than 9000 in each de department wise uh, from the EMP, EMP table we need to find uh, please find uh, that uh, that uh, that uh, sum of employees um, uh, salaries are less than 9000 he asked the question like that uh, so the uh, you can find the uh, uh, answer just see the output i'm going to fetch the uh, i'm going to fetch the sum of salaries are less than 9000 in each department number wise in a emp table let's see the uh, resulted table the result the output what is going uh, going to happen in the output just see this uh, my screen uh, you may find the result yeah so here he asking please uh, please uh, please um, or display uh, in in which department number he is having uh, sum of salary sum of salaries of a uh, department number is less than 9000 so here we here we got the result having only one row here 10th department number sum of salaries are less than 9000 that is why we got the uh, this answer uh, answer of table having only one row yeah friends this is the concept of uh, classes in varakil in sql language uh, these are the classes uh, we often used in sql language language so uh, if you see uh, if you practice this uh, classes uh, uh, repeatedly you can i can get command over this classes in sql language oracle database that's it friends thank you very much uh, we will see you um, by uh, next concept or you will see with the next concept by next class uh, so thank you thank you very much